Hey, what's going on guys? It is Chuck here, and today for this Firebot tutorial, we are actually going to be taking a look at a question that was asked in the Crowbar Tools Discord. This was asked by Wund I Pete. Uh, I said his name correctly. Uh, basically, what he was looking for was a way to have his automated shoutouts not trigger until he was off of his starting soon screen. So there's a couple of ways to do it. Um, we built it uh, the way you're going to see today. Um, so we're going to be going over how to do that. Um, the nice part is that this starts with some elements pre-made for you. So you don't have to start from scratch and you don't have to build everything from the starting point. Uh, but I will explain effectively how this ran. Um, now, a few days ago, I actually streamed the creation of this Firebot setup. So setups are something you can install into your Firebot that comes with queues, uh, effect lists, um, events, things like that. Um, we have one linked down below that you can get from Discord specifically for here. So again, you don't start from zero. Um, but I do want to say, before we jump into the video, uh, thank you so much for everyone who has uh, commented, asked questions, joined the Crowbar Tools Discord. A lot of you have actually come by my stream and said hi. Um, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy these tutorials. There's going to be a lot more coming out. Uh, I have a bunch recorded. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't edited them yet uh, other than sheer laziness, but I'm going to get through them and you'll get some cool new videos. Uh, so with that said, let's jump into uh, Firebot. All right. So before we get started, one thing to note, you're definitely going to need to make sure that you have your uh, OBS script installed into Firebot. It's available. Here is a link. Um, make sure you get this added and you install the WebSocket to OBS before you install this setup. Um, so assuming that you have that and you are all set, the next things we're going to do is make sure that we have our script turned on. So I'm going to go into uh, settings, scripts. I'm enabling this. I'm going to manage my custom scripts. I'm going to leave, in the case of my OBS control, I'm going to leave this all the same. So. Um, we're going to hit save and we've got that all set. We're going to restart Firebot. I have OBS open in the background. We're going to use that, uh, to do our tests. Now, now that we have this set up, what we're going to do is we're actually going to install that setup or import that setup. So again, from the settings page, we're going to go up to setups, import setup, choose. Uh, and I have this on my desktop right here. So you'll see that what this is going to do is it's going to import a shoutout queue, a viewer arrived event, an automated shoutout, a preset, eff preset effect list, and then a viewer role called auto shoutout. So uh, we will import this. Now that we have all of this, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to our viewer roles. We're going to go to our auto shoutouts and we're going to add a viewer. We're going to add myself. We're going to automatically shout myself out. Uh, and what we're going to do uh, is we're going to go uh, and, and look at each of these pieces. So we're going to start with our events. Uh, so we're actually going to go into this viewer arrived event. And you'll notice that there's a couple of readme steps. So the first is uh, under this filter, actually before we get to the readmes, uh, is the viewer role. So if you already have a group that you're using or a viewer role within Firebot, you can change this uh, to not be auto shout out. You can use your own and you can delete what came with the uh, setup. Um, but again, we only want our automated shout outs to go off with particular viewers who are a part of our, uh, our group. Um, so now that we have this, uh, let's read the chat. So again, uh, this is just saying that this is our auto shout out group. That's cool. We can delete this now that we've read it. Number two. In the loop below, make sure to adjust the filter to the correct name of your starting soon scene in OBS. So what that means is here in this loop effect, oh, we're gonna have to look at something actually. Let's save this. One other thing we need to do is under advanced, uh, we need to enable while loops. What this means is basically the loop can just run indefinitely um, if we let it. So we do want this to happen because your starting soon scene could be five minutes, it could be 10 minutes, however long it takes you to get through your starting soon scene. Uh, we don't want to have uh, this wait a set amount of time. 
Uh, we just want it to wait until you're no longer on that scene. So we're gonna let the loop run. Uh, so again, after you've got this set up under advanced, enable while loops, we're gonna go back to our event. Uh, and you'll notice that in here, in this loop, it's a conditional. We don't have a max loop count because we want this to loop indefinitely uh, because it will only loop as long as our OBS scene name. So this is one of the new variables that we got when we added that OBS control script. Uh, you can see all the OBS variables that are available if you type OBS in the variable button. You can see that there's a collection name or a scene name. Uh, we've got the scene name. The scene name is starting soon and you'll notice that that is actually exactly what it is here. Make sure you change this to the name of your OBS scene. Um, now you can have multiples of these. So what you could do is uh, switch this. So if you have multiple scenes you want this to apply to, you can switch this to any and just keep applying more. And if it's on any of those scenes, your shoutouts will wait until you're no longer um, available. So in here, we have a one second delay. The reason for this is that we want to give ourselves one second after we transition before it will start to play our shoutout effects. Uh, so with that, uh, we're gonna leave that the way it is. You can make this longer if you want. Um, I think Pete set his to a couple seconds, maybe 10 seconds, something like that. You can set this however long you want. Uh, we have one second here. And then what happens is when a viewer arrives in your stream and they're a part of this role, when they uh, trigger this, basically the first time they chat, if I'm on my starting soon scene, I'm getting paused right here. And I'm just paused right here until I'm no longer on my starting soon scene and then it will go to the next step which is run my effect list. Now this is a preset effect list that's called automated shoutouts. What I'm doing is I'm passing in the username of the viewer who arrived. So this is the user who triggered this event. So we're gonna pass in their username to my shout out automated effect. Now it's important, you need to make sure that this is checked, so or unchecked rather. So uh, we want this to wait for all of the effects to finish before we continue. So we'll hit save, save, cool. Under preset effect lists, this is that effect list we were just looking at. Uh, you'll see that there is a third readme and you'll see that this is the preset effect list uh, chat message. Um, it's telling us to effectively change what happens here, which is exactly what we're gonna do. So we're gonna delete this and we're gonna add a new effect. We're gonna do our shout out effect. So we're gonna show a shout out uh, for the username for whoever we tag. Uh, we'll let it sit on the right side and this will live here for eight seconds. And while this is also happening, we're gonna show a random uh, clip. So we're gonna go to play video, or we're gonna play a random Twitch clip from them. Uh, we'll wait for the clip to finish. We'll, we don't really care how long it is, but we'll just let it play. Uh, and then uh, this will fade in, fade out, and we'll have this play in the middle right, and we'll have this be 480 pixels. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a delay effect. So we're gonna add a delay, boom. We're gonna have this last for eight seconds. This is gonna be in between our shout out. So the shout out will show, and we'll make this three seconds. Three seconds, three seconds. And then we'll play the video. And what will happen now is when we do our, um, our event, we'll have this video that we'll play. And then when the video is done, it will then go to the next person. Now what I want is I want two seconds for this to finish building out. So I want this to go away, the screen to be clear before my next shout out can happen. Because when you start streaming, you might have a couple of people who are a part of your starting soon uh, or your, your automated shout outs that might trigger all at once. So we're gonna queue them up and this is gonna let us do that. So we're gonna hit save. Lastly, we're gonna add a couple more people to our auto shout outs. So we're gonna add Ninja. And we'll add eBigs. Cool. Now that we have this, we're gonna hit save. 
and we're going to uh, make this a little bit smaller so that we can see OBS and then we can see our starting soon scene, which is just kind of playing here in the background. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect this and we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to actually simulate that we're going to have a viewer arrived. So we're going to say viewer arrived, we're going to type ebigs and simulate. Nothing happened. Perfect. That's kind of what we want to happen. We're going to have another view arrived. We're going to say Ninja. Simulate. And lastly, we're going to simulate that I arrived. So again, notice that nothing's playing. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to change our scene. So now we're going to go to our scene that isn't starting soon. So you'll see that it's shouted out eBigs. And it's gonna pull a clip from eBigs right here. So clearly we need a little bit longer of a delay uh, to let that build out. So probably four seconds would be enough. But we've got a clip playing. Uh, and then once this is done, it will then go to Ninja. So here's Ninja. And here's a clip from him. All right, and then here's my last shout out. We are good to go. So in our preset effect list, we can go in and add all of the things we want. If we want to add background borders, if we want to add sound effects, uh, you name it, you can have it trigger here. Just make sure that you're adding the appropriate delay here. So if we add five seconds, that should be plenty of time between when the show shout out effect builds out, which takes about a second, I think, uh, to when the video will play. So I hope this video was helpful. Again, the link to download the setup so that way you can get started without having to build everything yourself is linked down below. You can get that from the Crowbar Tools Discord. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked the tutorial and want more things like this, hit that like button so that way I know and YouTube recommends it to more people. And leave a comment down below if there's a specific thing you'd like me to make a video on. So if you wanna see more specific use cases like this, uh, if you want more things where there's some pre-built element that you can just configure yourself, let me know that too. Um, but thank you all very much for watching. I love you guys' faces, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!